What's up y'all, it's Christian Covington. I just woke up with a specific question on my mind. And I know it's because I was asked this question yesterday by one of my little cousins. Um, and I get asked this question so, so often. So I figured it's about time to make a video about it. A little background, I started dressing more masculine at like the end of my high school days, maybe the end of senior year. And that's when I started getting asked the question, are you a boy or a girl? Um, I think like the first time, the very first time I asked this question, I was embarrassed almost. Like, you don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. I had to take a step back and I really had to think about it. And I didn't want to be defensive. I wanted to be like understanding of the situation. So, one thing that I remember explaining to someone else who um, was in a similar situation as me and was struggling with getting asked this question, I said, well, I'm choosing to not follow the societal norms and dress how I want to dress, which is more masculine. So what is going to come with that? This question can't be the worst thing that's going to be asked you, first of all. and you're gonna get asked this question so many more times. So how are you gonna make yourself be okay with that? Something else you should know about me, I have a passion for working with youth. I currently am working in an elementary school. So this question comes up a lot around this age group specifically because they're curious. They just wanna know, are you a boy or a girl? Is that your real hair or not? They're just curious about anything. In the past like five months, I have been getting asked this question a lot. Christian, are you a boy or a girl? So my response usually looks something like this. I'm a woman. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Like I like to ask them the question back because now it just feels like we both are getting to know each other a little bit better. A lot of times it's not that easy, like they wanna know more. Well, if you're a woman or if you're a girl, why do you dress like this? Why do you talk like this? Why do you wear your hair like this? I'm not gonna lie, I don't always answer the questions. And, sorry, I got a stuffy nose a little bit. And, sometimes, my answers are very different. Like, depending on my mood, depending on the day, depending on the year, right? Like, I don't feel the same way about myself all the time. What if I didn't have an answer, you know? Like, that's okay. But like, what would I say? I don't know. I don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. I'm going through an identity crisis and you're making me realize it more. <laughs> like, I don't know, what do people say when they don't know? I know sometimes when I'm asked this question, I just wanna be like, why does it matter? Especially if it's not a kid. Even if it is a kid though, sometimes I just wanna be like, why does it even matter? You know, but the truth is it does matter sometimes. It matters to some people. It may not matter to me, but everybody's not me. What I've done to be more comfortable with answering that question is being understanding, especially because the main people I get it from are kids. Adults, it's a whole different ball game. Like, I'm not saying I don't get that question from adults because I most definitely do, but right now what I'm talking about is kids. And I just try to be very understanding. I, I try not to be defensive because like, it's a kid. This question has opened my mind a lot to my own self and my own identity. So yeah, that question can be uncomfortable, it can be awkward, especially depending on who's around, you know? Like, kids, sometimes they don't give a fuck. They'll ask you, are you a boy or a girl in the middle of a classroom? Or, you know, like, you got their parents there or whoever else there, people are thinking like, oh, this shit is pretty awkward right now because what are they gonna say, you know? I know that it's an uncomfortable question and situation, but I mean, it's something that's gonna happen for the rest of my life probably, so this is how, this is how I cope with it. But yeah, that's what I've been thinking about this morning. Are you a boy or a girl? How does that affect my life? How does that, that small question, maybe it's not a small question. How does that question affect my life? So yeah. Um, that's it. Alright y'all, peace up, A-Town down, yiggity.